Good day everyone, welcome back to our Timpani Quick and King channel. Um, one of the very first few foods uh, that I tasted and I liked when I first arrived in Cambodia is manchow. Um, and uh, the other day, we went to this restaurant to try this, this manchow um, and um, I'm going to share to you about it. To look for Wan Chao, we went to Road 60 in Siem Reap. Uh, road 60 is a long uh, stretch of road that is popular to uh, locals. They go there for shopping, they go there for drinking, they go for eating uh, local foods. Um, it is also known as Road 60 is also known as Plo Hok Sok. We, uh, Plo Hok Sok uh, literally translated in English as uh, road. 60 <laughs> Let me uh, briefly mention in here the different leaves and herbs that are uh, used in eating ban chow. Lettuce is used as the main wrap for the uh, ban chow before any other herbs are added. Bai cha plu or the wild battle leaf is uh, popular for those who are chewing betel uh, betel nut. This leaf has a unique uh, peppery taste and uh, is also just like the lettuce is used to wrap around other ingredients and uh, it creates a uh, flavorful taste. Trai rang uh, which looks very much like that of the leaves of the Spanish guava is a type of sour leaf that is used in Khmer cuisine especially salad and uh, it is often eaten raw. Chrysanthemum, uh, known for its health uh, benefits, uh, is included, uh, is part of the uh, Cambodian version of Van Chao. Though in the uh, Vietnamese version of Van Chao, uh, we don't usually find the chrysanthemum leaves included. Fishy leaves or fish mint, uh, mint leaf is an herb with a fishy smell. That's why it's called such. And uh, it has a taste that can be added to the lettuce wrap for a unique flavor. Um, there are other leaves and herbs that can be included when you eat ban chow, but uh, these are the common ones. If 
Ban Chao is your type of food and do you ever come to Simrip? Uh, let me know and we can go find the best Ban Chao in town. So, have a nice day everyone. Bye.